New at six, it's Childhood Lead Poisoning Prevention Week, and right now state leaders are seeing lower testing levels during the pandemic. Less testing is happening because there's been a disruption in regular health check screenings for children. Also, during the pandemic, everyone is spending more time at home. For a child, uh, could also mean, uh, you know, not able to attend a school, uh, a daycare setting. So they are spending a, a, a high percentage of time in their home. And if it's a home that is unsafe or there are lead hazards, uh, there is a chance of having increased exposure to those lead hazards. Similar to COVID-19, there's an unequal distribution of childhood lead poisoning by race and ethnicity. Black children make up just under 20% of children who are tested, but account for almost half of all lead poisoned children in Wisconsin. Lead-based paint is the primary source of lead exposure in children's environments, and there are an estimated 350,000 homes in Wisconsin with lead-based hazards. Milwaukee and Racine have the highest rates of childhood lead poisoning in the state, but it's happening in nearly every county. DHS officials are leading a multi-pronged approach to eliminate lead poisoning in Wisconsin children, including prevention, treatment, hazard abatement, and surveillance.